I think this conference is challenging us to deepen our engagement. There was a session in how we might perhaps have more direct relationships with businesses. That would then challenge us to instead of be reviewing proposals, we'll be reviewing business plans. For myself, I know that I will look at the next project that I'm a part of um, and look at how they review business plans, perhaps ask to sit in on their selection committee. Certainly we always read the grant manuals and aware of what our implementing partners are doing, but to actually sit in and try to score a business plan myself, that's something I'd like to try my hand at. Uh, build relationships. Uh, it's, it's, it's not uh, something that you can take, into, uh, take for granted that private sector uh, will automatically engage with government or with us. You need to reach out, uh, you need to build relationships not only between USAID and the private sector but between USAID and the government. Um, building trust and, uh, and ways in which the uh, uh, private sector and the government can work cl more closely together. There's um, a lot we, we can do while you know what the private sector wants and needs. Uh, so um, the, this knowledge about uh, you know, identifying where the problems are uh, and you, then you could know how to fix them um, and uh, there's a lot of also a lot that the private sector can, can, can provide in terms of um, uh, expertise on the ground, um, supporting a lot uh, the grassroots level uh, supplier, the farmers um, in agriculture. Uh, this is something that USAID can do in linking uh, the private sector to the farmers, uh, providing the tools and, and uh, the, the models and the, the knowledge on how to link them and how to make uh, the system and the supply um, chain flow uh, very well. Engage the private sector early is critical. Do not focus solely around economic growth. Remember that the other facets, right, they do lend support to a lot of the other facets that USAID um, are involved in. Listen to them, okay, um, because this, this is about engaging and not just really trying to pass on what we would like to do. In terms of recommendations, just remembering that private sector engagement is not necessarily just about uh, large multinational uh, private sector actors. It's also uh, it's also about small, medium-sized, and even micro-level uh, private sector actors in in your countries. Everything's open. Talk to everybody. There are good ideas everywhere. You never know where the connections and linkages are going to take you. It doesn't have to be hard. It doesn't have to be fancy. It doesn't have to involve a sophisticated procurement instrument. Sometimes just connecting people can make all the difference. Um, I think that's. It's a specific and unique role that most missions, if possible, should have. It's a pity that over the years it seems that we are losing more and more of this specific office as the private sector office. Um, I don't think it should be unique to the economic growth office, but the private sector is in all aspects of our work and that's where we are going to be sustainable in our activities.